Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Genetics Challenge! Where, actually, today I feel like relaxing. You know, all of you have been so hard at work helping me to crossbreed so many different animals, mixing and matching those genetics, taking care of all of the resulting petri dish creations in the puppy play yard, cleaning all of our wonderful lab equipment to perfect sterilization, that really, I feel like today is the day we should take off our lab coats, stretch a little bit, and stroll on down to the beautiful beaches of Sulani. Because, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day, it's summer, we've been thinking a lot about diving into the deep ocean with our brand new Beyond Blue series, and rumor has it, friends, that the Murkats have arrived! That's right, we are finally, finally, finally back to the cats, and I thought, what better way to celebrate the beautiful new world we are diving into in our Beyond Blue series, exploring what the open ocean on the planet that we all share has to offer, then with the mer cats once more. So yes, friends, this is actually a mermaid cat, which I absolutely adore, made from a gorgeous mermaid tail. I cannot remember where the tail comes from. So if you guys actually know the location of this custom content, do please let me know. Ditto on the ears. I believe the ears are a Kalino creation. Let me go ahead and check. I wanna make sure that if you want to make a mer cat to relax with, you definitely can. Ooh, and actually while we're here, do we have a special set of whiskers or anything that we could gift to this mercat? Let me check. All right, I don't think we do. Unfortunately, there's not nearly as much custom content for the cats. There we go. We'll we'll go ahead. We'll give them we'll give them a lot of whiskers like that. There, that's good. But unfortunately, there's not nearly as much custom content for cats as there is for dogs. But there is enough that we're able to hear rumors of the mercats that come out of the Sulani Beach Seas. So, I'm in love with her. Her name is Pearl. She is a spoiled free spirit who is quite curious. And she's actually going to be coming out of the waters on this beautiful summer day because the time has come. You see, something very special happens in the summers in Sulani. Rumors have it that these amazing half mermaid, half cat creations stroll out of the sea in order to search for a new mate. Every year, they emerge from the ocean during the highlight of summer. They search for an alley cat of their very own, and they have a bevy of kittens who may or may not inherit their tail or a number of very special tails, and then take back the kittens who are able to to the sea. No doubt headed off to swim with the mermaids and get up to all sorts of mysterious nonsense deep in the deep waves. Uh, and today I'm excited that Pearl has chosen to emerge from the waters and hopefully have many beautiful mer kittens with some of the cats named after you guys. So this should be a lot of fun. It's going to be a bit of a break from our normal lab creations. But like I said, I think we could use a bit of a vacation and I have always been enchanted with mermaids. That's actually something I haven't really talked a lot about, but I've always thought that it just would be so amazing to be a mermaid because the whole open ocean would be available to you. Can you imagine the freedom of being able to explore all of that? It would be absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying, and yet also an absolute adventure. But all right, I digress. Pearl is ready to find that mate, and we're gonna whip ourselves up an alley cat. So we're going to go ahead and have the Dice of Destiny decide who the fine cat that Pearl is going to run into is going to be. And then we're going to have a bunch of kittens with that cat. And there's a little bit of mermaid magic with these kittens. You see, their coat color has to change until they have at least one piece that is as blue as their mother. And their tails will be randomized as well. So there's a chance we'll end up with mer kittens, and there's a chance that we may not. So let's go ahead and see who we're going to have as the alley cat. Okay, you're glorious, you glorious creature, but I need to roll the dice. The dice of destiny says the next cat will be the one for Pearl. And so, somewhere along the, uh, the, you know, the beaches of Sulani, up along some of the creeks and canals that mix with the salt water and the fresh water, a cat is relaxing. His owner runs a little shop selling fish tacos nearby, and he's had a good, healthy meal for the day. And now, Coley... Oh, Coley, you're a Himalayan like all the way. <laughs> and now Coley 
named after Coley the wolf, has decided to just kind of sit and watch whatever the fish are doing. And little did he know that a certain fish cat would emerge and win his heart. So Pearl steps forward. She lets out a little chirping purr that happens to have a bit of a siren song twist to it. And Coley falls deeply and madly in love. So let's make him super affectionate. I think he's going to be just like affectionate and friendly and just have kind of been biased to falling completely in love with the first cat that sings him a siren song. We'll take off the coat because that's going to be hot enough to be in Sulani without that. And let's go ahead and have some kittens with them. So like I said, guys, the magic of the mermaid means that we will be randomizing the kitten's coat color to have at least one piece of blue. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and randomize their tails as well. So let's go ahead and pull up the next name on the name list. And we're going to go ahead and have the first kitten. Oh, heck, that's cute. But the first little kitten with Coley, who just was completely enchanted with the siren, and the siren herself, herself who strolls away and will have her kitten somewhere nearby because Coley can bring her some fish tacos. <gasps> it's gonna be this one! Oh my gosh, Morgan, welcome to the family. You are freaking beautiful. All right, there we go. So this is little Morgan. Morgan already happens to have blue, so we don't need to worry. Uh, and Morgan is affectionate, mischievous, and clever. And I can't wait to see what kind of face with having a uh, Himalayan father Morgan is going to have and what kind of tail they are going to end up with. All right, now let's go ahead and we're going to have the newest, oh, the kittens. <gasps> Look at you! Oh my gosh, are they all gonna end up like Pearl? Because that would be amazing. And this is going to be Meandry. And Meandy, and Meandy, thank you so much. I am trying not to overwork myself and that is such a kind thing to say. I have to do all, just, you know, <clears throat> the, the vacation matters aside, friends. I do have to work extra hard lately just to try to keep the YouTube side of things going. So if you would like to help us keep these adventures rolling without uh, any distress or concern as YouTube continues to burn into a burning fire with the way the world is right now. However, I'm very grateful and happy that we still can have our adventures no matter what. Uh, then do please consider our Patreon. It would mean a lot. But let's carry on from here as I want to relax with all of you today and not dwell on <sighs> We're gonna keep the adventures going no matter what guys and I'm gonna cuddle these kittens no matter what it takes I'm telling you, but we'll have to see anyway. Thank you. Thank you And that is why you may find many adventures going on on our channel my friends I'm doing my best and working as hard as I can to keep it all going but some help would be greatly appreciated however, the most important thing is that all of you can adore this adorable kitten, can relax, and can find a oasis in our adventures. So, let's carry on with the next member of the litter. Dun dun dun! And we have got, coming up here, Adriana! And Adriana does not technically have any blue. However, you know what? I'm gonna call the blue eyes as being part of the blue. So Adriana, we're going to have you Adriana. Ooh, and Adriana, an African wild dog and a Pomeranian sound amazing. <laughs> Adriana, you take after your dad quite a bit. You're fluffy, you're frisky, you're curious, and because you have blue eyes, I'm actually going to say that that is your inheritance from the mermaid side, or the mercat side of things, because uh, I think that would be amazing. And then let's go ahead and bring in the next member of the family, and this is going to be... Oh, look at those ears! Oh, look at this kitten! Okay, we'll have to randomize until we get something blue on Toxic! So welcome, Toxic! How freaking cool that you actually have purple eyes because you are so excited to potentially be named after an animal that has a purple-green combination. So, Toxic, we're gonna have you at least have purple eyes. Who knows if you'll have green? You are going to be talkative, so you at least have the siren song ability. Frisky and friendly. And now we are actually going to randomize using the Dice of Destiny until you have at least one piece of blue fur. So Dice of Destiny say, one, two, three, one. This might actually take a minute. One, two, oh man! Okay, uh, I guess, I guess blue, that counts? Should that count? You know what, we'll keep going, but we'll say as soon as the blue shows up next time, it'll count. So one, like even if it's in the middle of a count. One, two, three, oh wait, 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 that was blue. 
There we go. Okay, so, so Toxic, this is what you're going to look like. So that's how we'll handle the kittens being born with blue in the future, guys, is we'll stop as soon as the first thing turns blue or teal. Uh, that's what we'll do. All right, and then let's go ahead and have another little baby born. And we're going to have this one be... Dun, 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 dun. This is going to be Kitty. So welcome, Kitty. Oh, no, 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 Kitty, you want someone named Dark... Vleen. Dark Vleen. So welcome, Dark Vleen. Uh, I do think the idea of an Eevee and a Growlithe would be amazing. We need to resume our Pokemon adventures soon. And you are curious, friendly, and mischievous. And you need your fur changed. So we'll roll the dice of destiny again. Six and then three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do six, one, ah, ha! there we go. <laughs> Dark lane, there you are. Oh my gosh, this is actually really fun to do it like that so that we just have to look for one color because you don't know where the color will show up, just that eventually it will be there. Oh my goodness, we're getting quite the variety of kittens now. All right, and now Pearl is looking over her little ones as she has the final kitten <gasps> with blue eyes. We have actually got little tiger ruby ruby there we go so this is going to be little ruby after spirit tiger who asked that we named one ruby so ruby welcome you are curious you are skittish and you are friendly and you are adorable with your blue eyes that you have inherited from your mermaid mother but all right my friends so now what's going to happen is we are going to grow the kittens up and we are going to randomize all of their tails and pearl must see if any of them has inherited the mermaid powers it's quite rare so that is why she comes back every summer searching for at least one kitten to take back into the ocean with her but let us see all right morgan let's see what you look like grown up okay fairly normal fairly normal Gotta randomize your tail. You can't have a bone tail, Morgan. Very pretty. Very much like your mother. But will you end up having her tail? Now is the moment of truth. We will randomize once. <gasps> no, but we ended up with three tails! <laughs> Alright, so a different kind of special power has descended upon Morgan's tail. Uh, however, it is not the power of the mermaids. And so we must pass up on adding this little kit into the waterways but pearl is quite proud because this uh instead looks like one who can go hang out with the kitsune mm-hmm uh, go hang out with nine tails all right and meandry let's go ahead and see what you look like all grown up oh meandry oh you have a pikachu tail <laughs> oh my gosh i love that meandry you are beautiful i really just want to scoop meandry up into my arms let's go ahead and randomize the tail twice one two and Meandry, you have a super beautiful long monkey tail, um, so you can probably use it to grab things, but unfortunately it is not the mermaid tail. So once again, Pearl must sigh and move to the next kitten. Alright, and Adriana? Adriana, absolutely beautiful. Very nice pointed little face that says you'll be excellent at hunting fish. We will randomize your tail twice. One, two. And Meandry, Unfortunately, in fact, can we actually randomize? I'm just gonna check. Can we actually randomize the mer We can actually randomize the mermaid tail. All right, so Meandry, unfortunately, you too did not inherit the mermaid tail, but you did grab a tail that is prehensile and you can use to pick things up. I'm sure you will use it to catch many a fish. Perhaps you can go establish some sort of fishing warrior cat clan of your own. All right, little toxic, let's go ahead and grow you up. You're looking amazing. Oh, wow. Toxic, you are a mystery. I love you. Okay, so let's randomize the tail three times on Toxic. I'm low-key hoping for the Pikachu tail. One, <gasps> Pikachu tail! Two, three! Oh, all right, so we have little kink tail, which is really adorable as well. So Toxic, welcome, welcome. You definitely have an interesting future ahead of you. However, you have not inherited your mother's mermaid powers. Dark Vleen, you're up next. Darkflame? Darkflame, you've got a look to you. You've got quite the look to you. And now we're going to go ahead and randomize your tail five times. One, two, three, four, five. 
Ah, and we ended up with a kink tail. So unfortunately, once again, not a mermaid, but maybe little Ruby is holding out for us. Hello, Ruby. Beautiful Himalayan. You would never know that she has any kind of mysterious mermaid abilities just yet, unless, let's see, twice, one. <gasps> Should we just keep it if we get the mermaid tail at this point? Two. Oh, we gotta randomize again because, okay, three. <laughs> Three tails. Yeah, I think in the future what we'll do, just like with the blue, is if they randomize and hit on the mermaid tail, we'll just keep the mermaid tail and say that the, the power is activated. But uh, if they don't, then we have to pass up because now Pearl has no kittens to take back with her into the open ocean, but she has left behind a three-tailed Himalayan. She's left behind Darkling and Toxic, who I feel like have a very special future ahead of them. And Rihanna, who I feel like is going to start some sort of special warrior cat clan that uses their tails to fish. And then of course, Meandry and Morgan, who I do believe will use their combined mermaid powers to be a very mysterious pair of siblings indeed. Gosh, I could almost start writing some like fanfic stories for these ones. You guys are welcome to do that in the comments too. We're relaxing on the beach after all. But all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me as Pearl rose from the waters. Perhaps she will be back if you all would enjoy that for another round of trying to pass on her mermaid powers to her children. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful, relaxing day here on the Suhula Beach Sands. Do please remember to subscribe if you would like to join us for thousands more adventures. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.